Hey guys, welcome back. Welcome back, let me show you what I've been up to. Last time that you saw me, I was on my way up to make some more tools, a pickaxe. My copper one was almost broken. And did you guys hear that noise? That is disturbing. But anyway, um, sounds like, I don't know what, uh, Cavens or something walking around or I don't know. I've been hearing noises down here guys And I'm not convinced about this whole situation, but either way last time you saw me I was my way up to make some more tools. I did that I came back and I found the cassiterite deposit I will go show you that so you come this way you go over here and Down here it took me a long time to find it guys uh, then you watch your step and you uh walk across here and then you come this way and this leads out into a underground ravine and yes there were lots of cave-ins so that's maybe what i was hearing and you come this way uh this here i laid down to get an accurate pro pick reading and i discovered that if you go this way and this went on that way so i found that the center was going this way and this way and it ended up being this way and then if you come over here uh, the deposit is right here so there's some more there and there's some here and there's some so i found the deposit it's not as solid as i would have liked it but i know where i've got cassiterite i've got enough to get stuff bronzified and i want to show you one more thing um, actually there's gold that way, but I've never gone all the way up here. Let's see what's up here, see how far this goes. And then I'll go show you the gold. Whoa. I was hoping this led up to the surface, but this actually leads to the tower. Oh, I should not have knocked on there. Um, interesting. Okay, maybe that's what I've been hearing. Uh, I should maybe get out of here, but I really wanted some gold. The gold is not that far. It's not a big deposit, I don't think. Uh, but see right there's some, and it's rich stuff. Rich gold. If I would just get a few pieces, I would have some on hand for a few alloys that I'll need later on. I shouldn't need a lot. How far does this go? Whoa, let me toss a torch down here. Yikes, that's way down there. Okay, not going that way. What about the other way? How far down is it here? You see all kinds of caves off in the distance. Toss a torch down. There it is, more gold. Okay, okay, okay. Uh, so the gold goes that way. Oh, there's more, yes, I see now. Well, if I would just get a few pieces, surely they wouldn't know. Surely not, yikes, dark. I'm just gonna get a few pieces, guys. There's a piece. Whoa, 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 whoa. Um, look at my radar. Help. Get me out of here. Help, 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 help. What's going on? Where are they? Uh, okay, they, there's still a skelly and a slime. Uh, I have no weapons. I, I can't. Guys, I gotta get out of here. It was just one piece of gold. Oh, man. And now I feel exactly like Gandalf in talking to Sauron. They delve too greedily and too deep. The dwarves. Oh, no. Is it dark outside? <gasps> and I have to make it all the way to the hut. Okay. Ah, uh, let's make a run for it. Yep, they're out. The game is up. 
Oh boy. Oh boy. Oh no. Are they following? Yes, they are. No! I thought... Oh, I thought resetting the GPS and everything would make me safe. And of course, I started remodeling the hut. Uh-uh. No, no, no. Nope, nope, nope. Is anything following? I don't know. Give me my weapons. I don't think they're following me. This changes everything. This changes everything, guys. Now I have to make a house, not just for comfort, but for security. This is not cool. Well, nothing to do but wait until morning. To wait until morning, to when the sun comes up, to when it's safe. So from now on, I'm gonna have to be hiding at night and working at day. It was fun while it lasted, but I think I delved too greedily and too deep. It was just a little bit of gold. But I must have disturbed them. Well, in the morning, I need to keep making the house. We need a shelter. Well, there's no sleep for me tonight. I might as well get caught up on the to-do list and the diary. Let me catch up uh, and I'll fill you in. Okay, here's the diary. I have two new entries. And I forgot, by the way, I forgot to mention the day that I went fishing. It was right before I went exploring. So that's kind of a bummer. But I'm not going to go back and change it. But anyway, that was day 32. And then after I came back, I did a few odds and ends. Then I went mining, which is this entry here, day 40. Just returned from my first mining expedition. Was on my way to the ravine with copper when I found a large deposit of rich copper right at the surface. Copper for days. That was day 40. I came back got reorganized and then I went looking for the cassiterite that was close to here and this happened day 45 which is today or it's almost day 46 next morning will be day 46 but right now it's day 45 and I have this to say just like the dwarves in the mines of Moria I delved too greedily and too deep I awoke not shadow and flames but dead flesh and bones, zombies and skillies, creepers too, I guess. It happened from mining too close to the mysterious tower. There's that, and so the to-do list is <laughs> going to change a little bit. So for now, right now is build house, get a shelter going. And then, after that, I want to build armor and weapons. Okay, so right now, that is my main goal. As soon as it's dar uh, dark, oh, as soon as it's... They, ke they keep disappearing and reappearing, but I don't, I, I, I don't know. I don't get it. I don't trust them. Okay, as soon as it's safe, I need to start working on the house. Ho oh, ho, that is a wonderful sight. They're burning up. Oh, the creepers aren't, but those guys are. Okay, well, the first thing we're going to do is see how tough these creeps are. So let's go sh give them the hot fur. And I could maybe start collecting arrows and bones now from the skeletons that die. I am pretty sure... But there was a creeper here. Maybe not. Maybe not. But I don't trust it. I don't trust him. Okay. Um, I need to build a house, but I need to quick go. Whoa, 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 whoa. Run away. Get my club out. Is he following me? Yes, he is following me. Oh, see. Oh, this changes everything. Okay, Skelly. Do your worst. Come, come at me, bro. 
do I just charge in? What do I do, guys? Why is he not following me? Come on, ya chicken. Ya chicken. Ouch. Ow, 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 get him. Okay, um, three quarters of my health gone from one encounter, so I cannot fight these guys straight up. But this club, not bad, not bad. Okay. Oh, I don't like this. Let me see here. This jute, I desperately need more jute. Please grow before winter. And you guys, please, trees, grow up. More bones, I'll take them. Okay, let's quickly, quickly, quickly go chop down some trees. For the house. Okay, I chopped down a lot of trees. Made some bronze tools. And I also made more arrows. These three from these drops and a couple more. Let's see, I made eight more arrows. And I discovered something. I don't really have time anymore to show you this before it gets dark again, but I guess I will. Um, apparently, I knew that you could pluck chickens to get feathers, but apparently if you pluck them, they start hating you again. So that one is still tame, but the rooster is not, and this chicken here is not either. So that's kind of a bummer. And I guess I'll make the house sides out of pine, but I want to show you something quickly here. Uh, chisel. If we take, I think it's like this, a chisel here, a sticks there, and some lumber underneath here. Yes, we make a plane. And what we can do is we can smooth out boards to make it into planed lumber, and I will definitely use that later. But for now, quickly, get me a whole bunch of pine. And I want to start getting these walls up. Oh yeah, and a door. What color door do we want? So many options. Okay, there we go. Lumber, finally. Let's start building. Let's go too high. I'll, I'll just simply cut out the windows later. For now, let me try to get some walls going here. Problem is, spiders will be able to climb over these walls. Um, hmm. Oh well. The walls are up. Let's knock down what we don't need of this hut anymore. Whew! And now I dug out the floor, and it's time to figure out what color flooring to make. Hmm, let me think it over. Uh, I'm thinking stone for the kitchen, and definitely stone for the fireplace area. But maybe, oh, I'm so hungry. Maybe another color for the dining room area, and another color for the bedroom, and another color for the work area and living room, possibly? I don't know. Let me figure it out. Okay, the willow trees grew again. And there's a spider there, and there is a creeper. And I do want to kill creepers. I want their gunpowder. But I am not going to fight another skeleton who's wearing armor. If they don't burn, I'm going to run away. So let me get this creeper here. Hopefully one arrow will do it. <laughs> yes, good deal. Get that gunpowder. Ah, uh, oh, wire bird. I guess I won't kill you anymore, but don't push your luck. Uh, okay, no, no gunpowder. Oh, there are two gunpowder, but where's my arrow? I want my arrow. Wish there were cows here. Um, okay, anyway, let's quickly go and... Oh, spider. Actually, the spider is technically not aggressive, but you can never have too much string. Whoa, 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 back up. Don't mind me. One hit. Two hits. 
three hits. Four hits. That's barely worth it. And did it? I got one arrow back, two arrow back, three arrow back. Just three. Eh. Not really worth it. Anyway, quickly, chop down some more trees and keep going on the house. Good, this jute is ready, but oh no, my inventory is so full. Yikes, 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 yikes. I should have done this a long time ago. Made a copper axe. Oh, uh, let's see, let me figure out the proportions for bronze and let's make an axe. There's the mold. Might as well make another one of these. I'm going to need it and might as well make another one of these and try not to lose it this time. Another sword mold. Ah, don't want to fall in there. And from now on, a better way of lighting this is just toss on a torch. The burning torch will eventually light it on fire. No more rubbing sticks together. Technically it costs one stick instead of two anyway, so fine by me. Okay, I just planed this chestnut. I'm not sure I want to use this color, but let's see at least what we can do with it here. We can make this design. We can... I thought that was a design, but I guess not. We can do that design, and I thought there was one more design. Maybe I was wrong. I was sure this was supposed to do something, but I guess not. Um, what about that? No, that. No, that. I already did that. Okay, well let's l at least see what we got here. One is a whole bunch of interwoven wood slabs, and the other one is just really long ones. Why do I have another one? Did I get two of them? I don't even know what's happening, but anyway. Uh, that's kinda cool. Hmm. Processing. I don't like the color necessarily. And I'm waiting on my axe. So, let me keep thinking. Okay, finally. I got a axe, a metal axe, another chisel, and a sword. Okay. And yes, I this is supposed to give me another type of block. I will try it with pine. And if it doesn't work, I will have to do some investigating. Oh wait, is it just Oh, it's not the planed ones. Okay, uh, let me check these out. I might want to use these for the walls. Interesting, interesting. Okay, well, I still need to figure out my flooring scheme here. So much planning to do. Ugh, I wish someone would just decide for me. Might as well test out our new sword. Hiya! Hey you, you want some too? Okay, take it. <laughs> Two hits and you're down. Okay. Okay, uh, I should be safe. Let's go get some more trees. So many colors to choose from. And I do like the vertical planks, but I might change them out for a different color. Chestnut, reddish, willow, greenish, Spruce, pinkish, orangish, clayish. No, it's like a pinkish, pinkish, clayish uh, pastel. I don't know. White elm, which is light green. White cedar, which I'm really thinking might be nice for the walls or the aspen. If I go with these walls, I would go with this color roof. If I go with this color wall, I would probably go with uh, maybe a walnut roof. Okay, progress is being made. Here's the start of the kitchen. 
and this will be the dining room, fireplace, bedroom, workroom, living room. And got to make a door yet. Just need one of those actually. And there we go. And it's just getting dark. So let's move this thing into here. My new bedroom. I cannot wait till I get a more comfortable bed. But for now, that'll work. And even start storing some of my personal goodies in there such as my books and paper there we go okay so you see progress slowly is being made oh but really slowly oh it takes such a long time do anything in terra firma craft. Light some more of these sticks on fire. There we go. Okay, let's get some rest and in the morning. Wah! Yikes! Oh. Oh. And in the morning, we'll keep going. Unbelievable. A creeper just creeping away. Uh, it's gone now. Fell into the river and it's getting washed to sea. Good riddance. Okay, um, let me quickly make two new tools for you guys. I want to show you something here. Let me get this and this. And let me put some of my rock away. And I'm going to need, I believe, six of, no, three of these. And I'm going to need to make one more rope. Oh, I'm a little hesitant to use up this jute, but technically I guess I'd have enough for uh, several more ropes, so it should work, but if we take rope like this and rope like this and take these plane to plank so that we don't get splinters, smooth them out, we can get a rope ladder. 16 rungs worth. Now the neat thing about this is that wherever you place it down, it'll go from there down to the ground and use that many slots out of your inventory until it's done. So for instance, if I bop it onto here, we got ourselves a rope ladder that we can climb. That is so cool. And then if you hit this one, blippity bloppity bloop. Oh, oh no, I'm oh, there's a piece. You got it. So this is really going to help with house building. No more permanent ladders where you have to, you know, remove each one. You can just bop it down and you can get up on the wall. So that will really be very nice. And you can place it as high as you can reach. Okay, that's one thing. The other thing is a loom, which honestly, I am not sure how to build anymore. So, oh, there's a book I forgot to put away. So stand by, and once I find out the recipe for a loom, I will show you. That was easy enough. It was actually how I remembered it. Planks and a shutter, shuttle. I'm not, I don't, I don't know. I haven't woven that much. But anyway, here's a loom. We'll place this guy down here. And yeah, I still have enough for how many rope? Two? Yeah, enough for two ropes. So you know what? I guess I'll weave this, but this is the hemp stuff. If I weave this stuff like this, we can get some burlap like that, burlap cloth, and I can use this to make sleeping bags. And if I take this burlap, once I have enough, and weave it with some additional wool yarn, we can even make can canvas, and we can make ourselves a tent. Uh, the reason I want a sleeping bag and a tent is that when I go on excursions, I do not want to be stuck out all night. 
that an Enderman? Yes, that is an Enderman. Should we look at it? No, he's gone anyway. Okay. Um, so that when I'm gone on excursions, I don't need to stay awake all night tossing and turning on the hard ground waiting for daylight. I can just get a sleeping bag or a tent, jump inside, fall asleep, and bam, it'll be morning before I know it. So that is why. I know this is a little bit of a shorter episode, guys. Um, at least for you it is, but for me it was one of the longer ones. It took forever to get these supplies around and to even just get these walls up and the flooring and stuff. So next time we'll keep working on the house and hopefully put a roof on it and an upstairs loft and no promises, but we'll see how it goes. Either way, I will see you guys next time.